Hello everyone. Welcome back to the corner. Um, what you see in front of you is a custom Peterbilt that I did, I don't know, 10, well, maybe longer than that, 12 or 15 years ago. It's been a while. Um, one of the guys would love to comment about they're building a semi and wanting to Z the chassis on it. And I had made a comment about me doing one and he wanted to see it. So here it is. <laughs> I've dubbed this thing Mac Attack. And it's got a lot of, it's well, not a lot of work. It's got a little work in it. Um, first off, I Z'd the ch uh, chassis on it. And uh, raised the, the front fenders and everything up to get the right height down. As most of you are probably figuring out, I like my stuff low. <laughs> but, uh, knocked off the headlights. You can see how short the grill is on it. You can tell that I've cut a lot of it down. This, the grill is significantly shorter. And, uh, yeah, let's pull the camera out and show you what we got. This is Mac Attack. This has got, um... The bed, actually the whole truck is built from the uh, EMT wrecker kit and uh, bits and pieces of another truck, whatever. But there is no engine up front. And the engine normally sits up front, as you all know, but the engine is not here anymore. The engine is sitting right here. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the bed has been narrowed. As you can tell, it's fitting inside, just inside the tread width or the the, the, the gap of the tires on the duals. I narrowed that. I uh, dropped the cab down over the frame. For those of you that don't know, um, go to your local Mc, McDonald's or your Culver's. The drinking straws. These make awesome stacks. These are actual drinking straws from Culver's. You can see down inside of them. You can actually see the blue down inside of them if you look close enough. There's a little sneak peek of the engine. <laughs> now while we got this thing up. Down there with the wheel lift. I don't know how well you can see it. Right here, it Z is Z right here. And it's Z right here. Actually, you can kind of see it up here. I can't see with the stack right here is where the cut is. Right here is the end of the frame before as it goes up. Here's the end of the frame as it goes up here. Realize I never got the drive shaft put in it. <laughs> oh well. All show, no go. And, uh, yeah, oh, here's the engine. I'll show you that a little bit, too. It's a Detroit V12 out of the Super Boss or the Bandag Bandit truck. I pulled that one out of a Super Boss years ago. Uh, injector hats. I think these came off one of Tom Daniels show rods. I forget which one. But I use those on there just to give a little high volume of air thrown into this thing. Custom decal, it says, see ya. <laughs> Oops. And, hold on a second. Sorry about that, we had to stop for repairs. <laughs> Turn the truck around, knock the back dual off of it. Um, The bed, like I said, has been narrowed up. So is the diamond plate. The, uh, the wheel lift that you see here, this was built with using parts off of a John Deere backhoe, the EMT Ertl backhoe. This is the upright boom that would normally go up. This is the boom that would normally come down to scissor for the, the backhoe to use its operation. The wheel lift back here, these are another, other pieces of the the backhoe. I use a couple different tractors to build them. Um, wheel lift is functional. 
turns, goes up and down. Doesn't scissor in and out. Um, the other Peterbilt wrecker that I usually have in the back of my bench back here that has a fully operational wheel lift on it. It will extend out. I mean, it extends out pretty pretty far. Um, this boom, you can remove this pin right here. Pull that pin out and the boom will drop all the way down to the ground to where you can back underneath the truck and then pick it up. <clears throat> it is, I mean, it doesn't operate, move whatever. Uh, tail end shot of it here. Got yeah, my rat bank on there. <laughs> kind of a tribute to Ed Roth, I guess. Uh, decal up here, I don't know if you can read it or not. It says, I play to win. And bad Boy Club. And then, of course, the Mac Attack. You probably know where I got the Mac Attack from in the decaling. Um, Corey McClanathon, Top Field Dragster. Is where all the uh, Mac and stuff came from. Corey Mac is what his, his nickname is. Name was shortened up to Corey Mac. It was Corey McClanathon back when he he used to race. And that's the driver's side shot. Get a little bit better in there. Oop. There we go. Much better. I'm trying to get used to using the different mount here and stuff. It's kind of half working, half not. But <laughs> uh, paint on this is a Tamiya lime green whatever you want to call it uh, caddy lime green that's what the color is on the truck uh, but i've always liked these bright the bright colored greens they just seem to stand out a little bit more and catch the attention a little bit more if you will oh uh, let's see what else The front, we're going to have to back up here. Back up the truck. Like I say, the grill has been cut and shortened. Bumpers in the stock location. And doing, being that I did away with the headlights, I just moved the headlights down into the, the grill, or the bumper, I mean. These would be more of the location for your driving lights versus your headlights on the record, but... It looks good. Made a mount for the oops, the rescue lights on top. <clears throat> there it is with the boom on the ground. All I gotta do is turn this, I guess. I thought I had to pull it out. It's been a while since I built this and played around with it. <laughs> Give it just a little twist on a hold of it. This lift here is off my old, my other Peterbilt. The other record that's behind the curtain here. That's going to be mounted between the frame rails hanging off the back. You'll have your jacks coming down. But this is all fully functional. Try to extend out, go underneath the truck picket. Boom goes up and down. Oop, it came apart. That one on your highway mode, you bring it up. But that's going on my other 359 Pete that's behind the curtain back here. This is all built out of evergreen tubing and square tubing, rectangular, sheet plastic. There's not a kit piece on that. That's all, all built out evergreen plastic. I do have the outriggers to where you can, like this, this one on here, you can grab the axle of the truck and pick the truck up. But anywho, I just wanted to bring this out and show it off a little bit. A couple of guys that asked about it. They've, you know, I've talked about it a couple times to in person with one guy in and other guy made mention of about the Z in the frame and such, so I figured I'd bring it out and show him because he wanted to kind of see it. I'd like to comment to him about it, talk to him about it. 
so there it is <laughs> hope everyone's having a good day and thanks for watching and we'll see you